Howdy y'all, I'm Around the Wheel. You're watching the Neo Limix intro pack. Today we're going to start with Double Down, which means we're going to be eating that KFC sandwich that had the chicken patties for buns. A lot of people tried to get me to try that thing back when it was a thing. And some people that I was actually surprised would eat such a thing in the first place tried to get me to eat that actually. But for me, it just kind of went a little beyond the pale. Uh, it kind of represented a a hurdle of true fatty mentality that I was unable to surmount, let's say. Uh, but let's put aside the fast food discourse and let's focus on lemmings. We've got double down here, which is 20 lemmings. Got to save 23. So that means cloners are being involved. We're going to be going to the clone zone. Cloners clone every attribute of a lemming. This includes permanent and non-permanent skills. Now let's experiment with this and get more value out of all our skills. Value is always great. I'm a, I'm a guy who loves value. Need a single stacker that blocks both ways at once? No problem. You only have one climber, but you need more? We've got you covered. Need a glider to go the other way? Send in the clones. Also, it is possible to assign bombers or stoners to a climber in mid-climb. Oh, yes. Okay, yeah. I knew bombers. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew. I think I knew about all that. That's going to be important for sure. I saw that middle part of the level there. So let's hit it. Double down. we got one of lots of things. So let's see. We're going... We're going which way? So we kind of... Okay, so here's our first cloning technique it looks like. Looks like we're going to go ahead and... Get him stacking. And then clone him immediately. Alright, so that does a thing where we... Okay. Oh, interesting. All right, so we're going to be swimming here. There we go. Okay. So he's just kind of swimming along his jolly little way there. What have we got here? Two builders. Aha! This is probably going to be our next one, I think. I don't see much of a need for builders elsewhere. So, let's see. Let's see. I think here we're going to be doing a builder to save them both ways from the water here. And that's going to also clone the swimmer, so yeah, we want to get it going double ways. Okay, yeah, that saves them from the water entirely. Ah, yes, and we still have one builder left, so we want to do the same thing in the other direction. Alright, so, and they're both going to swim, so we've got them both, they're both alive and well. So, let's see, let's do the same thing right here. That's going to cover that. All right, now what do we want to do here? We gotta... Okay, we're gonna have to bomb this, it looks like. All right, we've got the thing over here. We want to make a glider. Hmm, okay. So, all right, so he's gonna go in the water there. Okay, yeah. So what we've got here, how are we... Oops, nope, we need him to be a climber. So, let's see, let's... Well, we don't necessarily have to back that up. Let's go ahead. Okay, he turns around. Very good. Okay, so there we go. One climber. Alright, I don't know if we're going to need two climbers, but I think what we're going to be doing mid-climb is... Okay, let's see. Can we do that? We cannot do that in here and now. Okay, so once we fall, we're going to make a cloner. And I think we're going to blow one up. And then make a glider. Okay, that doesn't really... Ooh, no, that's not that's not pretty at all. But, let's see, what am I doing wrong here? Do we have... We don't have stoners. So, yeah, it's definitely going to be a climbing and bombing sort of deal. So, maybe we want to make one of these clones a climber, and we just want to get way up closer. Or we just want to do the same thing again, maybe. Well, let's back it up. Let's back it up and try to do this a little cleaner. How are we going to do How are we going to do the glide? I think we're going to want to use our cloner here actually maybe. Bash and mine through here. Yeah. Mine here, bash here. So we're going to be using a cloner once someone successfully gets through here. We're going to do a We're going to do a glider. And then clone that glider so that he floats into here. Okay, so yeah. So it all comes down to bombers right here. Let's go back. Let's not quite assign... 
Let's leave our climber unassigned for just a second. Um, perhaps what we want to do is clone him, or make him a climber, and then clone him, and then clone that one. Okay, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to make certain that we do this right. Okay, so we're just gonna go up through here probably and get as cozy as we can, just using a couple of. Okay. Okay, that looks a lot better. Okay, so now, once he fall, well, that's going to be dangerous, I think. Yeah, no, okay. So we want to kind of, okay, before swimmer, swimmer, athlete. Okay, so we're going to, okay, yeah, we're going to do, we're going to do it like that. Okay, so we have two going. Yeah, here we go. Now I'm feeling it. Okay, he gets up in there. And then he gets up in there, in that tight little... Nope, nope, too soon. Or too late, rather. Wait, I... Did I rewind way too much? Yeah, I did. Okay, I fast-forwarded too much, rather. Okay, eh, eh, eh. Yeah, I got... I think I accidentally pushed three instead of two. Oops. Okay. So there we go, we've got the gap cleared. Okay, there we go. And now they're just kind of swimming around doing their thing. Okay, something is wrong here, though, because I would have needed to get them out of there, right? Oh, no, I can just mine... No, I can't clone the miner, because now I've run out of cloners. I did something inefficiently. Hmm. Okay, something was done wrong somewhere, I think. I've used too much, I use too many cloners, because what I ought to be able to do is get this guy to go down. I need one for here. Maybe I can just make them all, I know I have 23 lemmings left, so I, hmm. Okay, let's back up, let's back way the heck up. Uh, maybe I don't need to be cloning everybody here. Okay, maybe I just need to make these guys... Maybe I need to make my climber way earlier. Like here. Okay, he needs to be both a climber and a swimmer. Like immediately. Okay, yeah. So we're going way back to the beginning here. So, yeah, there we go. I think that's going to increase our efficiency somewhat. Because we'll have three guys who can go up the way here. They're both athletes now. Let's go ahead and get that release rate up to 99. Okay. And then we want to do the same here. They're both climbers, so it shouldn't matter really. I, I, I want to do it with the guy in the back so that... There we go. Alright. And they should both be athletes, so we should be able to bomb and still have two... Yeah, we still have two cloners now. So the first two to make their way up should be able to bomb here. Ah, they're pretty close to each other, though. I don't really want that. That may just have to be how it is, though. Maybe the first one is going to have to fall first. Is the falling one... Okay, yeah, that's too high. He's going to he's gonna die, right? Well, we could make him a glider now, I think. I think that's probably fair. I'm going to go ahead and do that. He's a triathlete now. He's going to plunk into the water. I think that's fair to do. Let's go ahead and skip. And then we can probably clone. Yeah, we can clone here. Then we clone the miner. About from the middle here. Okay. Okay. Boop. There we go. Okay, he gets into the exit safely. And then he... Then we clone him. Alright. He gets... Yeah, they're both in a really good position, actually. Oops. Oops, I did that wrong. Okay, I still have one... Okay, yeah, I need to start in mining first. Okay. That's how we get the value. And we go from about right here, and then clone. And then we bash out this way. Okay, wow, some very complicated... 
You really got to do your math very carefully on that one. That wasn't a hard level. It just kind of took a while to sort out. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call it hard. In fact, it was really fun, I would say. But let's make sure we have the whole path done out first before we bash out to the left. That ought to be really nice and... Ooh, golly. That is a pretty, pretty minor tunnel right there. Very beautiful. Okay, so let's uh, skip on to the end then. Let's get into that phone box. Let's cram in there like a bunch of clowns. And let's move on. That was a that was a good level. Good level. Took a, took a long time for me to kind of logic my way through. But it was... I would not call it hard. I would just say you have to know what you're doing and you have to piece everything out very specifically on to the next level which is combine and conquer 10 lemmings we got to save nine from this big old circus that we're okay combine and conquer i think we may have reached a potpourri point i see pickup skills are we going to be told how to do this constructive skills can be used to create terrain for destructive skills with this method, they can go on for way longer and get more work done. Kind of like one of my favorite levels from Dove Limbs. It was from the final difficulty rating. What was it called? It was like Courts something or other. Uh, like Courtroom of... Or like Courtyard of Courts. I can't remember. It was the one where you had to make a ton of builders and then use one basher to get through all of them. It was a really great level. A platformer at the right height can keep a basher going. A well-placed builder keeps a miner or fencer going yeah a digger doesn't care if he digs through natural terrain or a stacker i think you get the idea now it's your turn okay so we're going to be using our we're going to be using our constructive stuff creatively to okay let's see all right so we're going to looks like we're going to be going how are we going to do this so we have one one platformer, one stoner. So we only have one of everything. And we're going to be picking up a climber, a builder, a miner, a platformer, a digger, and a stacker. So we're going to be picking up all the good stuff, basically. So what we want to do then is... What do we want to do? How do we want to do this? We have no diggers right now, so it looks like we're just going to be bashing through something. Okay, we're going to send a climber over. This is one I think we can kind of maybe play by ear. Let's see about it. So where do we want to make our where do we want to make our goods happen here? I think we want to go maybe uh bash through here somehow i think we just want to bash and kind of get everything going so far okay so i think we just want to go right now just bash through here to get our pickup skills i don't think we want to start doing the crazy stuff yet we don't have any way of elongating this process so i'm just gonna go ahead and pick things up for now i think that may be what we need to do for the time being let's go ahead and bash through uh-huh Another climber, so we can get another climber going the way here. Okay, very good. Okay, we're going to need to, I think, let's see. What are we going to do here? How are we going to get them through? We're going to we're gonna need, we don't have any miners, but we're going to be picking that up. I think we're going to use a miner here, probably. Platformer and miner or builder or something. To kind of get it going. Alright. Just go ahead and pick things up. Boink. Very good. I like hearing the boink, so I'm gonna wait till I'm gonna wait till I hear the boing to fast forward. Boing. Okay, we don't have a shimmier to get across here. So we have two platformers though. Alright, so now that we're here. I'm gonna go ahead and platform here. Uh, well, no, that's not really a mistake, I don't think. Okay. Now, where to mine down to from here? That's a question we need to answer. So we're going to have one climber go over and kind of do things. I'm going to go ahead and... 
We don't have any more bashers, right? No, just a stacker. Okay, we're probably going to use the other platformer here. So that we can get one basher going through there. Make him be a stacker and a stone and a stoner. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to mine down to a point that we can build to here. Okay, and that's going to be... Back that up a little. Where's a good time to build? Let's go a little farther than that, actually. So that we can send the next guy up. Okay, he might... Hopefully that's not a fatal fall. Okay, good, it's not. Okay, but he's going to come back... And he's going to do the rest of it. Okay, so very good. Alright, so... Going along then. We're going to need to... We're going to need to make the... Okay. I think he's going to build up to this to get the rest of them to the exit. That's going to give me the rest of my skills. Okay, let's go... Let's go just touch the tippy tip. So that he doesn't turn around. Let's go ahead and get the rest of our stuff. There's our digger. Well, I may have used the basher in the wrong place. But I don't see how. Maybe I want to do all that stuff at the beginning because I don't have a basher to get through now. I think I may have... I think I may have made the error there to begin with. So you kind of go about... You do your thing... Okay. Yeah, I don't see an extra basher to get me through. So I've got so I'm only got one basher to get me through here to here. But I've got to get that guy through somehow. Probably I want to dig right here instead. So let's back up. Let's back way the heck up and dig through that instead. No, that's too that's too far. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Okay. No, I've already, I've already gotten a dig. No, I don't have the digger yet, so I can't do that. So how do I set this up? Then I need to take a moment to look at it because the commentary is going to start getting real boring if I just look at it. All right, I'm going to send my climber over. I think we want to may set up this bash first because they're all safe down here. So I think we want to set this up first. I'm going to go ahead and create a stacker right here. About the middle. And I'm going to test to make sure this is feasible. I think I saw that it was. Yes, because see, now the guiding line goes all the way through to this next little bit. Okay, so what we want to do then... Yeah, we're going to use the platformer right here. And we want to make it high enough up so that he still bashes through it. He doesn't treat it as a step. Let's go from, like, right here and see what happens as we... Okay, it's still creating a guideline all the way to the end, it looks like. And then once we're at the end, we'll make him a stoner. So he's going to die. That's going to be the one lemming that dies. The rest of them are going to live because he has to be a stoner to complete this bash. About right in the middle here. So let's see if the guideline goes... Yes, the guideline goes all the way through to the end. See, he punches through the stacker wall and then through the platformer wall. Just because there's a gap doesn't mean he stops bashing. If there's sufficient animation, if there's sufficient terrain still left in front of him, he'll crunch through it. And that's what we want right there. Now we're going to get the climber. And I think we're going to want the builder to just go into the wall. Because I think we're going to need to free everybody by going all the way down through this like it said. Okay, so you will make you, because you're the next one going forward. So now we just have to take each task as it comes. We're going to get everybody into the... Okay, yeah. So we're going to go... We're going to go right up to the wall. Not enough to... Not enough to turn around. Okay. And he's going to go up the wall. Okay. So now, once we have the miner, we're going to get the platformer. We're going to use it immediately and then turn around. And this is where we're going to have to go through our builder bridge. But we can't go... We have to still leave enough for them to not fall through the diagonal pixels. So this is kind of like finding... Okay, so that's too far back. 
We want it to go all the way through to the end of this thing. Because we have to really conserve. And I think that's going to be it right there. That looks a little sketch. I may want to get a little closer with the bridge. Going to go forward. Yeah, they're not going to be able to walk up that because they're going to fall through the pixels. So I need to actually come a little more forward with this bridge. Hopefully I can come up a, just a little farther. Okay, so close enough to the wall to still get up on it. Is he going to turn around? It might be fine if he turns around. No, he didn't turn around. That's okay. Alright, so now do the same thing again. Alright, we're going to turn. We've got to get this exactly right. We still need there to be enough space for them to walk up it. And that's going to be pretty hard to pull off, but with frame stepping, we should be able to manage. Okay, back, 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 back. Okay, now you see how there's... Okay, you see how it kind of goes uh, zigzaggy line instead of, instead of blocks arranged diagonally? We can do this now. This should be okay. In fact... Okay, yeah, see, one more step forward would have been bad. Or one more step back. But this will get him all the way through. And they'll still be able to walk up that bridge. It's a finely shaven bridge, but should get him through. So now they walk up it. Yeah, see, they can walk up safely now. They would not have walked safely up the other one. We know from experience. So now the climber is going to get on through. We don't want to use that digger that we just picked up yet. We want to use the stacker. And we want to complete the terrain. So here we go. We can just stick this any old place. Here is fine. Okay. Alright. And then he is going to complete his dig through it, I believe. Some of them will end up on one side of it. Some of them will end up on the other. But in the end, it doesn't really matter because he's just going to keep going. He's just going to gnaw his way through that little pole and right to the end. There we go. All right. Another not terribly difficult, but it was one I did kind of have to spend some time sussing out. Uh, very, very uh, stimulating levels today, I'll say. I I enjoyed this pair. They were, they were quite a bit of fun to figure out. They're not... We're getting to that advanced level. Where I think we're just going to be expected to know what to do after, after, is it four? Four, uh, quote unquote difficulty ratings. Really just blocks of levels. Four different blocks of kind of being gently explained through it. I think advanced is when we're really going to be expected to know what to do on our own. And yeah, it's a little scary, but, uh, with all the training we've had, I think it will be manageable. And I'm looking forward to it. We only have about three more levels of basic training. Hopefully, we can finish them all next time. Fingers crossed. But uh, I won't promise anything. But, you know, maybe. <laughs>